this lecture i will explain you what is resonance in series rlc circuits so please remember when we are talking about resonance frequency we will see there are two conditions the first one is voltage and current stay in phase the another one is reactive power is zero okay so we need to remember these two conditions very very important now for for deriving these conditions we need to have a proper resonant circuit a series resonant circuit that means it will be having r l and c and having a voltage right so in a in a series resonant circuit there will be three components resistance inductor and capacitance i think we have covered this topic previously as well or you know this topic maybe in other subject you have covered this topic so this is a resonant circuit if it is a voltage then there will be current i here now if we want to finally um know what is the impedance of the total circuit then we will find out by z equivalent so what will be z equivalent it will be r plus xl plus xc okay so basically the addition of all the components the impedance impedance will be xl and for capacitance it will be xc so if we write it in j terms then it will be r plus j omega l plus 1 by j omega c and now because it is 1 by j then i can write minus 1 so it will be r plus j omega l minus 1 by omega c now i can see there are two component the first one is frequency independent and the another one is frequency dependent right now let us let us assume when z equals to r okay let us assume when z equals to r that means inductance and capacitance is cancel obviously because if total impedance will be equal to resistance that means there is no component such as inductor and capacitor in the circuit okay now we know that we know xl equals to omega l and omega is 2 by f into l okay and xc equals to 1 by omega c that means 1 by 2 pi f c i can write it like this okay so now according to the first equation if basically 2 pi and l these are constants okay they have the fixed value but that means if we are decreasing the frequency that means xl will also decrease if we are increasing the frequency the xl will also increase now in this case what will happen let let us circle this so this is the case for inductor in capacitor what will happen c 2 pi and c are constant so but if i am in decreasing decreasing frequency then xc will increase and if i am increasing frequency then xc will decrease because because f and xc are inversely proportional to each other okay so if if i need to make a graph how can i make a graph between these two see i okay okay now it's a straight line so let us say this is f and let us say this is x right so what is happening as frequency is increasing the xl is also increase so frequency is increasing and xl is also increase and i can say it is a linear increase okay but please remember when it is when we speak about the capacitance then it's not a linear decrease it's basically like this a parabolic thing okay so this is the resonant frequency you can say and this is xc here okay
let us just make this line proper okay let us make like bit of gap like this okay now I can make this point F here and I can write this as Fc okay at high frequency basically you can see from the curve Xc tends to become zero okay let us take an example of a circuit suppose there is a circuit of R L and there is this C here and it is a voltage okay suppose it is given 50 ohms it is given 56 milli henry and it is given 7.2 micro farad okay and you need to calculate the resonant frequency f naught f naught is the resonant frequency okay you need to calculate this so we will just put the formula what is the formula of resonant frequency you all know 1 by 2 pi l c okay we will just put the values 1 by 2 pi 56 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and we will calculate and we get f naught equals to 250.65 hertz always remember when we are doing the frequency we need to calculate it in hertz so at that means at f naught equals to 250.65 hertz xc and xl will be cancelled okay and circuit will contain only resistor okay so this is what, what does that resonant frequency mean resonant frequency mean the circuit is purely resisted resistive it does not contain any inductor and it does not contain any capacitor for in it okay so we how, how do we find out the resonant frequency it's basically from the above equation resonance means what basically resonance means what resonance means it is giving maximum output okay maximum output output means getting maximum current right so for what input frequency for what input frequency we are getting maximum current okay it's very simple we'll just put in the formula we know that i equals to v by r according to the ohm's law v equals to i r okay so we need to find the resonant frequency so what will happen we will write i naught equals to v naught over now what is our total impedance that is r square plus xc minus xl square okay now for i naught to be maximum we need the maximum current what will happen denominator must be denominator must be minimum it's as simple as that how the denominator will be minimum that means if xc minus xl becomes zero right that that means the denominator will be that means i can see xc equals to xl that means i can write 1 by omega c equals to omega l or or i can write omega square lc or i can write omega square equals to 1 upon under root lc okay that means I can write omega equals to under root 1 by LC. Okay. And we know omega equals to 2 pi F. That means I can write that means I can write 2 pi F naught equals to 1 by under root LC. 
and what will be my f naught f naught equals to 1 by 2 pi under root lc so that will be my resonant frequency so i can write this is the frequency where the current will become maximum okay and f naught equals to resonant frequency okay and at resonant frequency it is a pure resistive circuit that means current and voltage will be in phase okay so please remember at resonant frequency f naught circuit is circuit is purely resistive okay so in exam basically you can get the derivation of resonant frequency then you need to derive the formula for resonant frequency you need to do the curve and uh, and maybe you can get some numerical on resonant